happy new year to all the media in the room. Thank you very much for coming for our Singapore Tourism Board's first trade engagement roadshow for 2020. We are starting our trade engagement activities in Chennai today and then we will be going to Sate uh, in Greater Noida, Delhi uh, from Wednesday to Friday this week. So from the 8th to the 10th of January, we are at uh, Sate in Greater Noida. Um, our, the purpose of our trade engagement has always been to connect with the travel trade partners in India. And I'm very happy to say that in 2020, uh, we have close to 50, 5, 0, close to 50 Singapore travel trade who have joined us for the road shows uh, in Chennai. And then they will be following us to Sate for the trade engagement sessions. And it is very important for the Singapore tourism to connect with our travel agents and travel trade partners in India and through them promote Singapore. So let me, let me start off with a few uh, contextual points. Uh, 2019 was uh, generally a good year for Singapore tourism. Uh, 2018, India contributed 1.44 million visitors to Singapore. 1.44 million visitors came from India to Singapore in 2018. In 2019, we are waiting for the final full year results, but as at end of October, we have already crossed the 1 million visitor mark from India to Singapore. So for the fifth year in a row, we started in 2015, so 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, for the fifth year in a row, we have more than 1 million visitors from India to Singapore. And we are very happy that India continues to be a very, very important source market for Singapore tourism, tourism arrivals. Uh, India continues to be the third largest tourism arrival market for Singapore. Number one is China, number two is Indonesia, and number three is India. So India is the third largest source market for the third year running, right? So they became the third largest source market in 2017, and then 2018 and 2019 for the third year running. They are the, India is the third largest source market for Singapore. India is also the number one cruise source market for Singapore. So a lot of Indian travellers come to Singapore for cruising and we are very happy that Indian travellers continue to come to Singapore and enjoy the cruise holiday products, uh, the various cruise ships that are sailing out of the Singapore shores, including Genting Dream, Royal Caribbean, Costa and, and, and other uh, cruise ships. Uh, continues to attract the Indian travellers to come and cruise out of Singapore. And that also means that they are also cruising and after cruising, either it's pre or post, they are enjoying holidays in Singapore and that's very important for uh, the tourism product that we have to offer. Uh, in terms of incentive travel, they are also a very important source market. So that's my opening remarks. That means India is still the third largest source market for the fifth year in a row. They are. The, uh, they have crossed the India, Indian travellers have uh, come to Singapore more than 1 million visitors. The second point is that uh, the travel train engagement that we are kickstarting here is to introduce some of the new products that we have to offer to the Indian travellers. So later my area director, Sirdin, uh, she will take you through some of the newer attractions that we have and the, some of the refreshed products that we are offering to the Indian travellers. And through that we are hoping to engage consumers and let them know Singapore product keeps on changing every two three years the, the changes in the uh, India sorry Singapore tourism offerings uh, is new so we would like to share with the Indian audiences through the travel trade what are some of the new product that's happening in Singapore so that is one important reason for this trade engagement introducing some of the new offerings that Singapore has and finally the third is how do we engage specifically for Tamil Nadu? So for Tamil Nadu, we have got four direct connecting points to Singapore. Koyambutu, Madurai, Trichy and Chennai. So four cities are directly connected to Singapore within a flying radius of about three and a half hours. Mundramanarthala, Singapore, Mandarma. So three and a half hours, you can be in Singapore enjoying uh, the offerings that Singapore has. 
and across South India, just South India alone, you've got nine cities which are connected directly to Singapore as well, including Bangalore and Hyderabad. So it is a very, very important region for Singapore tourism. And we constantly endeavor to connect with this region, connect with the audiences in South India, Tamil Nadu, and involve in, uh, and inform them about the offerings that Singapore has to offer. So it's a very important uh, region for us. And you will see during our year in review video, uh, we have done activities for the market. And for the South India market specifically in 2019, we have also had uh, some engagements going on. All right. So I will now pause and we will play the year in review video. So this is 2019. And this will show what Singapore tourism has done in 2019. So please uh, have a look and then I will give you some comments after the video. Thank you very much.
numbers a bit. So in between January to October 2019, we welcomed 1.19 million visitors. For the fifth time in a row, it is uh, more than 1 million visitors from India to Singapore. India continues to be our number one international cruise arrival source market. India also uh, uh, continues to consider Singapore as a very, very important family destination. So we have won the award of uh, Lonely Planet Magazine's Best Family International Destination in 2019. And today, uh, in 2019, there were a lot of uh, turbulence uh, in terms of the tourism sector, uh, including the jet airways pull up. But thankfully, by end of last year, we had Vistara, Indigo and Go Air flying to Singapore from Mumbai and Delhi. So today we have uh, nine airlines flying from Singapore, sorry, flying from India to Singapore and connected to 15 cities, as you can see, including uh, in the south, you can see Bangalore, Chennai, Coimbatore, Hyderabad, Kochi, Madurai, Trichy, Trivandrum, and Vizen. So there are nine cities in the south which are directly connected to Singapore. Arvo Mirevedu, Singapore, Passion Made Possible, that's our brand. Uh, and Passion Made Possible, we launched this new brand in August 2017. And since then, we have been promoting Singapore through Passion Made Possible and Passion Tribes. And the idea is to introduce Singapore's offerings through the voices of Singaporeans and people in Singapore and invite the travellers to come and enjoy Singapore. Our theme for 2020 is Growing Connections, Achieving Together. And this is our travel trade engagement theme and that is exactly what we have been uh, talking about in the roadshow that's happening at the uh, Taj Coromandel now. Uh, and more than 150 local travel agents are at the Taj Coromandel engaging us. So, Nutra Imbadu, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, the travel agents uh, are interacting with the Singapore tourism stakeholders. So, first is strengthening our partnership friendships. That is one, one major thrust for us. How do we strengthen the partner friendships with our travel trade in India? Second is bringing uh, passion made possible and passion trucks messaging across to the Indian audiences. And finally, it's about how do we bring Singapore even closer to the hearts and minds of the Indian travelers through projects like Atukuilu Marzukule, through projects like uh, Zoma Land in Singapore, Weekender with Street Art India. So we have done the yearly review. Let me just quickly flow through some of the schemes that we have. Uh, so we have uh, for both the meetings incentive travellers as well as the cruise travellers some schemes. And these schemes allow uh, travel agents or intermediaries in India to bring travellers to Singapore. So under the, uh, under the MICE meeting incentive conventional exhibition schemes, we've got schemes like Inspire which is for Group size of about 20 to 250 packs, uh, business events in Singapore for larger groups, and we've got a Singapore uh, Advantage program with Singapore Airlines as well as uh, Changi Airport. So, this is for the MICE travelers from India to Singapore. And under the cruise, we have got the Cruise Development Fund, which supports the development and marketing of cruise package and cruise sailings out of Singapore. Let me Bring you quickly to uh, what are some of the new offerings that Singapore has to offer, right? So we have developments in the integrated resort space. Marina Bay Sands uh, will have new 1,000 room suites only hotel tower, which will be built. So currently, Marina Bay Sands has got three towers. You will soon have a fourth tower from Marina Bay Sands, and that is 1,000 room suites. There will be a new 50,000 seat arena focusing on entertainment and new spaces for meetings incentives. And Resorts World Sentosa, in Sentosa itself, they will also be going through developments. They will have two new areas, Minion Park and Super Nintendo World, which will be added to the Universal Studios Singapore. So these will be new offerings. And you have the Singapore Ocean Area, which is three times larger than the existing Southeast Asia Aquarium or Sea Aquarium. And you have the new RWS driverless transport system, waterfront lifestyle complex. So, the integrated resorts, both Marina Bay Sands and Resort World Sentosa will be making some major additions and changes to their offerings. Ecotourism Hub. Uh, today in the Mandai area, we have the Singapore Zoo, the River Safari and the Night Safari. By 2024, the entire Mandai area will become an ecotourism uh, vicinity. Right? So today you have Jurong Bird Park, Jurong Bird Park uh, will cease. 
and you will have the bird park in Mandai. So the Mandai area will have the uh, World Park Singapore Zoo, Night Safari and River Safari and we will also bring the Mandai Bird Park which is slated to open sometime in 2020 or 2021. So Mandai will change and you will have ecotourism offerings in that area. Sentosa. So Sentosa, I will leave it to Sakin and uh, I will introduce Sakin in a short while. So he will bring you through some of the changes that are going to take place in Sentosa and you will have more details of what transformation Sentosa is going to go through. Great Southern Waterfront, so there will be an expanded, there will be an expanded Sentosa, there will be waterfront promenade, extended green corridor, and business district, will, Singapore's business district will be expanded as well, and the new, uh, the new Singapore skyline will emerge. And this is all the, called the Great Southern Waterfront, and completion will be, or parts of it will be completed by 2025. Tourism attraction, some of the uh, offerings. Jewel Changi Airport continues to be very, very popular with the Indian travellers. So this is uh, uh, sort of adjacent to Terminal 1 in Changi Airport. And Jewel Changi Airport, that waterfall or water vortex is very popular. So you saw that in the video earlier as well. So Jewel Changi Airport uh, is a multi-dimensional tourist destination which opened in April last year. Points of interest, Forest Valley with two walking trails and the world's tallest indoor waterfall, the rain vortex, which is this. Right? And this is drawing a lot of attention, so in, in the digital space, there's a lot of photographs on the Jewel Changi Airport context. And that entire area has got more than 280 retail stores and eateries. So Jewel Changi Airport is a new major attraction in Singapore. Uh, from the zoo side, you have Rainforest Lumina, which is a, in, a night experience for travellers uh, to the zoo. And this has been very popular with the Indian audiences as well. So Gardens by the Bay, they continue to have thematic uh, exhibitions in Gardens by the Bay property. So they have different kind of uh, exhibitions going on throughout the year. And Gardens by the Bay continues to be a very, very major attraction for the Indian travellers, including the club forest and uh, the flower dome. So we've got two domes and both are very, very popular with the Indian audiences. I know I'm, I'm speeding a rumba pasta pour, right? But I just hope that you understand there's a lot of content so that some of this may be uh, of interest to different, different audiences uh, in India, right? But I, I just want to give you a sense there's a lot of changes uh, in the Singapore tourism landscape. Madame Tussauds, uh, very interestingly, Madame Tussauds Singapore has probably the world's largest collection of Indian stars, right? So from South India, you've got Mahesh Babu uh, and, uh, and Recently, they have added other names like so Mahesh Babu, Sri Devi, Shahid Kapoor, Priyanka Chopra. All these are uh, stars from India who are in Madame Tussauds in Singapore. So, uh, we are also looking at the ultimate film star experience, which is this, which they opened in April 2019, and with this is very popular among the Indian audiences visiting Madame Tussauds in Sentosa. Hard Rock VR, uh, this is the first ever VR virtual reality theme park in Southeast Asia. It has got 11 different digital thematic experiences and this is also again very popular among the children and the young adults uh, and this is a new experience that is available in Singapore. Super Park uh, is an all-in-one indoor activity park from Finland and is located in Suntec. So this has got 20 activities spanning two levels and this is again a new attraction uh, for the travellers from all over the world. Nerve experience, nerve, nerve action experience, uh, this is providing fun filled experience in an arena with multiple themed activity. So this again is a new attraction because nowadays uh, everybody likes all this digital and virtual reality. So that's uh, why but interesting. So in Singapore, you have this kind of activities targeting the young uh, travellers from India from all over, but especially from India, this is very popular. Tours is another important area that is coming up. Uh, increasingly, a lot of Indian travellers are looking at tours. They want to have a better experience of a country, they are taking up tours. And we have got a variety of passion tours from uh, catering to the different kind of passion tribes. So, example is socializers, you've got Singapore after dark, Action Seeker, you can do a historical Singapore bicycle tour, which I've done. So you go on a cycle around Singapore, and it's very fun. Tiring, very tiring, but very fun. <laughs> uh, so 
on a bicycle you enjoy Singapore and, and different sides of Singapore. All right, so some fashion tours, uh, which which is looking at different uh, fashion interests. Cruise. So Royal Caribbean, Quantum of the Sea is one of the largest cruise ships in the world. So that is coming to uh, Singapore. Uh, sorry, they are already in Singapore, sailing from November 2019 to April 2020. Largest and most revolutionary cruise ship to sail from Singapore. So the Royal Caribbean, Quantum of the Seas is a very, very important new addition to cruise offerings from Singapore. Right? And uh, choice of four and five night itineraries are in this particular uh, cruise package. Getting Dream is another very big, large ship which is having year-round sailing uh, in from Singapore. Uh, and they are home ported in Singapore since November 2017. 18 decks, 35 restaurants, 6 water slides, can take 3,300 passengers. And it is a very, very exciting ship because on board the cruise ship, you can do many different types of activities. And as I said, India is the number one cruise source market for Singapore. And cruising holidays is becoming very, very important. And Costa Cruise is another ship uh, which has got uh, Singapore Costa Mediterranean which is home ported from Singapore from November 2020 till August. And they have got another ship, Costa uh, Firenze, which is also going to be in Singapore from October to November 2020. So Cruise is a very important uh, attraction for the Indian tourists. And Princess Cruise is another cruise uh, which has got uh, uh, signature features of this particular cruise is movies under the star sanctuary but they have got a ship called Sapphire Princess and this is an important ship in the sense that the kind of experiences they offer uh, is suited for a different types of audience Getting Dream, Royal Caribbean all is very popular among the families Princess is a bit more popular among the couples the hotel industry will rise up to about 70,000 rooms so there will be more hotel accommodation options for the travellers Singapore, one of the other key features is throughout the year, you have got many, many events that you can come to Singapore to enjoy. So increasingly, a lot of people are traveling for events. So uh, as you can see, there's an entire lineup of events across the year, uh, from, from the Chinese New Year Light Up and Singapore Art Week, and there's a whole series of events which I'm not going to go into details. But the main point is this. Whether it's attractions, attractions are undergoing changes and a lot of new offerings. Cruise, many, many offerings. And events, again, India has got, Indian travellers have got many events and lifestyle events that they can come to for Singapore, to, to Singapore. Right? Nightlife, a lot of interesting uh, experiences are now available in Singapore for people who enjoy the nightlife. Uh, and uh, the lifestyle and event space is a lot more, a lot different from previous years in Singapore. Alright, so that's our uh, overall presentation for the Singapore Tourism. What are some of the new offers?